India has seen a fantastic trajectory of economic growth and development in the past and covid unfortunately came at the wrong time to put speed breakers piche jo raw material hai for the new product ये शॉर्ट होता जाएगा फिलहाल तो अभी जितने भी आप सामने पार्ट्स देख रहे हो इतनी फिनिशिंग देख रहे हो ये सब यहाँ पे कुछ नहीं बनता द इंडियन रेगुलेटरी सिस्टम सोफा हैज एंट रियली बीन ऑफ वर्ल्ड क्लास स्टैंडर्ड वॉट बिजनेस इज रियली नीड इज अ कंड्यूसिव एनवायरमेंट वेर रेगुलेटरी एंड पॉलिसी आर फेवरेबल एंड सपोर्टिव एंड एनेबलिंग to small and medium scale enterprises most important role that a regulator has is he has to support the health and viability of a sector and look at all the interests of the key stakeholders and for this it must be maximum governance and minimum government as you see the advent and explosion as you said of private enterprise what they really look at is a market economy with strengthened markets where you get price and marketing freedom that's what attracts businesses the regulatory accountability is is very important because parliament gave regulators a lot of power and perhaps parliamentary committees which are associated with different sectors could look into this aspect and there could be a regulatory economic impact analysis on an annual basis in order to see that regulatory decisions are on the right track whenever there's a new regulator who comes or there's a new policy there's a both excitement and fear because there will be a new regime which will come in and parties or stakeholders will have to be accountable to those people they'll have to make adequate changes in their business to meet with the regulatory requirements e-commerce sector has been one of india's successful sectors on multiple counts whether it's attracting a lot of foreign investment whether it's in promoting jobs whether it's in supporting small and medium scale enterprises and the trajectory of offline people going online all of this is important as part of a startup culture and is also the use of technology it has to be dealt with with some sensitivity and overcrowding a space with multiple regulators and with multiple agencies which look at it perhaps is not the right way forward so as i said the single most important test in these things is do you need a regulator in a space which is otherwise broadly functioning well and that can be addressed through effective policy and not by creating another regulator